Welcome back, guys. We are going to do guided lab creating a highly available environment for the for uh, this um, academic cloud architecting uh, class. In this uh, lab, we have a current uh, VPC with a public and a private subnet and with an application server. And we want to make it highly scalable and highly available with multi-AZ deployment. It's about 40 minutes to finish the lab. So the first thing we need to do is to access AWS. So let me access the console now. As you can see, we need to go and see if we have the current VPC, which is the VPC that we need to use for this lab. So we have a lab VPC. In the subnet, we have lab VPC as well with four subnet, two public and two private. And then we have an add gateway, as you can see, but still in pending because I just uh, brushed the creation of the lab maybe. So we need now in the first thing we need to go and check as well after NAT that we have route table. And you can see those route table are associated with the lab VPC. So all we, we can see there is many things which are look good. We can also look to the access list, network access list. And based on step number 11, we can see there is a network access list for the lab VPC with inbound rule, all the traffic, inbound and all the traffic outbound are allowed. We want to check the security group. We have an inventory app security group and a DB security group. We want now to create an application load balancer. So let us go to the EC2. And from the EC2, we create application load balancer. Now this load balancer will act in the public subnet. Create a load balancer. It's going to be an application one. Now this is, will be an inventory ELB. It will be an internet facing IBV4. It will act or work in lab VPC in the first availability zone with public subnet one and in the second availability zone with public subnet two. And the security group, we need to deselect the current one and we select the security group inventory. Actually, we need to create a new one. So we need to create a new security group and we call it inventory LB. This is to enable web access to the load balancer. So we need to open port eight. Now make sure here that the VPC is not the default. It is the lab VPC. We need to add a rule and this is will be an HTTP rule port 80. And this from anywhere IBV4. And then create a security group. Now go back to the creation of the load balancer, refresh the page, and you should be able to see the new inventory. Now make sure to deselect the default one. And for listening and routing, we need to create a new target group. Now this target group will be based on the type instance and the group name is going to be the inventory app group. It is in the lab VPC, HTTP, and with advanced health check, we want to choose advanced health check. The threshold is going to be two. For the healthy threshold, we're going to change this to two. And the internal well is going to be 10 seconds because we want to get much more faster information and then we click next so we have the group ready then I click on a create a group now in step 32 we, we need to return back to the creation of the load balancer page and refresh 
using this icon and you should be able to see the target group and create the load balancer now we can see the load balancer is created and this is the public dns name of the load balancer the next thing we are going to create an auto scaling group so that auto scaling group will make sure to create more ec2 instances for the application server in the private subnet so the first thing we need to do is from the ec2 we need to create an im from web server action create an image and that image should be called web server ami and this is a lab ami for the web server or you can call it a configuration server if you want just to make sure that this is will be used mainly by the load balancer and the auto scaler to create more machine in the future now we need to uh, go back once this ami is finished and available and we create a lunch configuration so we create lunch configuration and this is will be an inventory lc or lunch configuration now hopefully by now the ami is ready but still in the creation so we need to wait for a few minutes for the ami to be ready now i can see the ami okay the instance type is going to be t3 micro which means it's going to be the the new one that we are going to use basically in the lab we usually use T2. Now it seems to be T3, which is the third generation, is the, the one we are going to basically use. For an instance profile, we can, we can select the inventory app role. And we need to expand the user data. And in the user data, we will put this script. Now we should select an existing security group and that security group will be the inventory app and the key pair is going to be VOC key and there is one more information we need which is we need to expand the advanced details and we add a script, a user data to the launch configuration. Here it is. So that's the script. We need to copy that script from step 45 and we paste it here. Now we need to select that launch configuration and from the action menu, we create an auto scaling group. And that auto scaling group is going to be called inventory ASG. And it will use the inventory LC. It's going to be in lab VPC in the first availability zone and the second availability zone. A private subnet. Now ID select by mistake public. So we, let me remove it. Private subnet in the first availability zone and the private subnet in the second availability zone, then click on next. We will attach it to the existing load balancer, which is the inventory app load balancer. And the things that we need to do for health check, we want to make sure that the ELB do that and the grace period is going to be 90 seconds, about one minute and a half. And then additional setting, we need to have two desired and two minimum and two maximum. Now the scaling policy, we choose none. And we 
select next add notification we do next here and for the tag we add name and for the name we need to select inventory app most of the time you will try to distinguish this and then we are going to create a security um, auto scaling group and that the group is ready now we can see that this a group start to be active after we create it but this is will take time because now it's updating the capacity so we need to wait for a few minutes because the minimum and the maximum here are two so we can keep waiting or refreshing the lab you can also go to the instances and see if there is any new instances start to appear here in the web server and in your load balancer as well we can proceed now to task number four and we update the security group so we need to select the inventory app security group and then from inbound we edit the inbound rule and the inbound rule we add a new one and this is going to be http now the custom is going to accept the traffic only from the load balancer so once you go custom and you type sg you could see the security group that we create so that's the inventory lb which is the load balancer group which accepts traffic only from the load balancer and we save the rule for the db security group now that db security group it needs to accept only the traffic from the application security group So we need to delete the existing one and we add a new MySQL Aurora. And the custom will be the inventory app security group. And this is will accept the traffic only from the application server. And we save rule. Now we can test the application. Uh, we can go to the instances and see if there is any uh, permission happening or a new instances appearing here. And now we can copy the load balancer public DNS name. And we basically test that we can see the application, which normally take a few minutes, guys, to uh, give us a correct uh, performance. You can see the inventory app is ready and the testing is successful you could also go to the target group in your load balancer and check and you can see these are the both healthy instances that we have we can also test to the amazon ec2 console and we basically terminate the web application so let me go back and do that from instances the web server will try to stop terminate Uh, let us select one of the inventory application and we terminate it as well and we want to test that the autoscaler will be able to replace it with any new instance now in optional task one we need to make the rds highly available so for that we need to create a multi-az deployment so let us go to the rds and from the rds we want to modify it and create a multi-az deployment so at currently it is not a multi-az because it's only operate in us east one you could also look to the configuration here and in the configuration you get more details about the db and as you can see multi-az is no Go to the modify. Uh, 
and from modify we will go to the availability and it your ability and we will select uh, to create a standby node and this is the db will be in our case it will be db3 db.3 dot small instead of micro and the allocated storage will be 10 instead of 20, uh, 10 instead of 5 and we select continue and then select apply immediately and then modify so this is now will take action to modify the RDS and the RDS now will create a standby node. Now the NAT gateway uh, that we used before, it has an only NAT gateway in public subnet one and if availability zone one fails, we want to make sure that our NAT gateway is highly available. So we need to go to the VPC and from the VPC, we go to the NAT gateway and we select and create a new NAT gateway. We will select public subnet two, and this is going to be public and allocate an elastic IP and then create an at gateway in the private route table two let's go to the route table in a private route table uh, which is this route table we'll create a, a new route table sorry and this is, will be called the private route table two and this is will be in the lab VPC and then create. And in this route table, we need to go to the routes of that route table. And you can see there is only one route. So let us add another route for the NAT gateway that we just created. Now, maybe it will be much better if you go back to your VPC from another tab and just check the NAT gateway ID, the new one, which is F52. I could copy it here. And let me see if I can see this one, F52, yes, and save changes. In the subnet association now, we need to edit the subnet association. We select also private subnet two to be associated with this a new route table with the new NAT gateway that we choose. Could go back, double check. You can see now the application load balancer are still working. From EC2, I could see I'm maintaining the number of inventory app and the one I terminated just replaced by a new one and that will be all for this lab. You can submit it and thank you for seeing this video.